maybe one, two, three, four, five drops. I'm gonna pat it on my skin. Now, am I seeing increased blackheads on my nose? Not necessarily, but probably, maybe, potentially. Hi guys, today I will be trying out the Iconic Bio Oil for 7 days straight and actually see what results we can see on my skin after the 7 days are over. Now, I'm super excited because Bio Oil seems to be amazing and it does so many things. So, for example, reading on the bottle, it helps improve the appearance of both new and dull scars. So, for example, acne scars, but also straight up normal scars. On top of that, it helps reduce the possibility of stretch marks forming during pregnancy. I'm not pregnant yet, so unfortunately I will not be able to test that out. So, moving forward, anyways, helps improve the appearance of an even skin tone in both light and dark skin types. So she ain't racist. She is actually very inclusive, so we also might like that very much. And lastly, helps smooth and tone aging and wrinkled skin on both the face and body and helps retain moisture. I mean, guys, honestly, did this not sound like a gift sent from God himself? I cannot wait to test this out. So you guys, without further ado, let's get to experimenting, shall we? Okay, you guys, so I want to show you what my skin looks like at the beginning of this experiment so that we'll be able to see if there's going to be any change. Now, as you can see, I have a little bit of pimples going on and a breakout on the cheeks right here. And also, very important, I have dark spots right here, as you can see, one right here, also right here on the jawline as well, as well as acne scarring on the cheeks. Now, I've seen my mom use this, but I have never tried it myself. So I'm really curious to see the smell, first of all, the consistency. Now, this is an oil, and mind you, I have acne prone oily skin, so I'm kind of worried of using oils because some do break me out. But so, guys, I'm I'm not gonna lie, I'm loving the color because I love everything pink. So I'm gonna apply just like maybe one, two, three, four, five drops. I'm gonna pat it on my skin. And I, guys, since this is. Oh my god, the smell is actually amazing. I definitely sure that this does contain fragrance because it is quite strong. But honestly, the smell, I'm sure some of you guys are familiar with it already, but it's kind of like planty and nature -y like. I kind of like it. But anyways, guys, I'm applying this after my toner, my moisturizer, my serum, everything, just because this is an oil, so it has to go last in your order of skincare. I'm applying a little bit more just to be sure. But honestly, you guys, first impressions, I'm quite impressed. Now, I definitely want to see what is in this that is actually giving us these amazing results that we're going to have to see. Okay, you guys, so it's day two, but before we go any further with this experiment, y'all know what time it is. It's time to read the ingredient list to better see what this product is actually comprised of and if it's going to be any good or bad to our skin. So, first of all, I see paraffinum liquidum. Now, this is basically going to create a film, a layer on your skin, so to prevent transdermal water loss. So, in a way, it is kind of hydrating to the skin. Then, there's also isopropyl mysterate. Now, basically, this is great for maintaining the health to your skin barrier. Therefore, it's also going to minimize the water loss, therefore loss of hydration in your skin. Definitely really good. Then there's also, ooh, retinol palmitate. Okay, now this is makes sense. You guys, this is basically retinol. However, this is the weaker form. Like, it's not the purest ever because it's not retinoic acid. So, therefore, it's going to have to be converted in your skin into retinoic acid. So, it's weaker. However, truly, retinol is amazing. It's the king of anti-aging, I mean. And it increases cell turnover rate. It is great for reducing violent wrinkles. It is also great for fighting dark spots and pigmentation. So now you're getting the claim the bio oil has given us. It's thanks to the retinol. Oh my god. So this is basically a weak form of retinol. I'm blown away. I had no idea. My mom didn't know either. <laughs> but anyways, then there's also ooh, a bunch of seed extracts, flower extract, plant extract, like for example, sunflower seed oil. This is rich in vitamin E and so it's an antioxidant. Therefore, it's going to be amazing at fighting inflammation. But also great at reducing acne and just overall redness in the skin. Then there's also lavender oil. So this is basically amazing for once again healing the skin from the breakouts and also killing bacteria. A another bunch that I'm not gonna list because there are truly so many. But you guys, honestly, one drawback of having so many plant extracts is that some people, especially like maybe sensitive skin types, could definitely be irritated from so many plant extracts. But anyways, you guys, I'm actually impressed. I'm very happy with the ingredients. Not gonna lie, there is no perfume in it, which... So this is basically all natural, and I do smell a little bit of rosemary now that I think of it. Now that I know that this contains retinol, I'm definitely sure that it's not going to let me down. However, why would I use this instead of a retinol serum? This is going to be the question that I want to answer throughout this week. Okay, you guys, so it is day four. I, I feel like I'm actually enjoying this. I'm surprised because I really thought that this was going to clog my pores. Now, am I seeing increased blackheads on my nose? Not necessarily, but probably maybe. 
maybe potentially am i seeing my skin a little bit more glowy not necessarily so you guys i feel like i truly need a little like few days more to really wrap my mind about it but honestly it's going well together however it might be increasing my oiliness and it might be giving me more blackheads so we still don't know sweet home alabama what an honor it is to have you here with us miss bio oil it was definitely a new experience for me out in wine country it's not something that i do every day truly an iconic legend in skincare we have to stand now why I want to start with is this might be maybe a little bit of an old maiden type of product. They were old maiden type of shoes. A little bit of a, you know, 80s way of retinol of skincare. But this is just my introduction. Now, before I actually start getting a little bit shady here, which I don't mean, by the way, because I actually quite liked it. I want to get into the positives and the things that I liked, and then we're going to get into the more the tea sipping. First of all, what I liked, this is an amazing oil. I was scared a little bit at the beginning, as you might have seen from the vlogs. This was going to break me out. Sis, it didn't. Absolutely not. She does not know what breaking out means. It is not part of her vocabulary. I'm a massive fan of the dictionary. You know, we should be, like, promoting the dictionary anyway. She will be gentle to your skin. She will cut her hair to bed. You have no worries about breaking out. This is truly one of the oils in skincare, just like, for example, jojoba oil, which are going to be less prone to breaking you out. But truly, the results that I have seen, granted, I do use retinols in my skincare routine already, are definitely my dark spots pigmentation was a little bit more improved. Mind you, I was still using my retinol. But using this on top, I feel like it definitely improved it a lot more. Also, I did see an increase in glowiness after applying this. And lastly, it was being so hydrating and moisturizing to my skin just because it was adding a little bit more of that layer of, you know, locking the moisture into your skin. Also, I have to mention Bio Oil. The ingredient list is truly amazing. I personally love it. There's not one ingredient that I don't like specifically for my skin. This contains a lot of of plant extracts, a lot of leaf extracts. So if you are of sensitive skin and you know that your skin is sensitive specifically to this, then definitely don't. However, now I want to move on to why this is a little bit, you know, like I'm not sure about this. That is because if you want to rely solemnly on this and feel like this is going to give you the results that it's claiming in the bottle, I will definitely say a retinol, like for example, the Ordinary's Retinol or the Enculus Retinol, Paula's Choice, Drunk Elephant, whatever retinol you want, those are going to be a lot more effective and going to give you the better results because they're a lot stronger retinols. So truly, if that is your final aim, then I don't get why you would use this. This is why I said that this is very much an old maiden type of skincare product. Old maiden type of shoes. Because I've seen my mom use this, my grandma use this. This has been one of the staples in skincare. However, now that we know a lot more about skincare, there are better options out there to get the same results. Now, not to say that you should maybe not consider of implement this in your skincare routine at all, because actually I will keep using this, not as a serum, because this is an oil. So of course, I will implement it in my skin curtain, keeping in mind that this is a face oil. So truly, it would be, of course, the last step in my skin curtain. Now, mind you, I only like, and my skin only likes three oils in skincare that I can afford. That is tea tree oil, jojoba oil, also rose hip seed oil. Now, this is another oil that my skin loves and would definitely tolerate. So I would probably imagine if you want to get amazing bang results, you should definitely use a retinol, whatever retinol that I've mentioned before but also go in ahead and apply this on top now you see where I'm going this is gonna give you also like the added benefits and added results like this is gonna boost your retinol do you see the levels? Now, mind you, I would very much deem her a multitasker because of the things that she's able to do for your skin. However, keep in mind, it does not compare to what a retinol can do. So truly, I feel like she's very much more kind of a man, okay? She's weaker. And we all know men are weak, so. Crazy, her mom and her grandma are all three flirting with my father. Mind you, he's a man, so that renders him weak. If there's any men watching, Watching. I'm sorry. I wish I could apologize. It is just the truth, okay? I don't apologize because I never make, you know, mistakes. Just accept it. Whether you want to breathe it in, take it in, process it. And, and just know that. Just be content you know, with that. Suck it up when you're 
whether you want to you know, breathe it in. But so truly, now I want to answer the question of who would benefit the most out of this in their skincare routine. Now, if we're thinking of oily, acne-prone skin people, retinol, we know that it is amazing for fighting acne. Actually, if you didn't know, retinol and prescription retinoids were first invented and first prescribed to teenagers with severe acne. Then, later on, it was discovered that they were also very good at fighting fine lines and wrinkles. So, retinols in general are amazing also for acne-prone, oily skin people. However, this one is, I feel, a little bit too weak for you to give you that results in terms of reducing acne. So, definitely don't look at it that. However, if you have oily skin and you are a little bit more mature, you're grown, you have experience, you're maybe in your 30s, in your 40s, and you are looking for this, 50s, 60s, 70s, 100s, and you are looking for a little bit of anti-aging, then I would say this would be an amazing starting point or, you know, alternative to using a retinol. If you maybe are scared of using your retinol yet and you want to just try dipping in your toes first in the cold water to actually see if maybe the nipples get rock hard if the girls start to salute. Then in that case, this would be an amazing alternative in starting to really build up that tolerance over retinols. However, I want to do give you this little side note. You're lucky because oily skin people do age a lot better. So dry skin people, unfortunately, they age more like milk. Oily skin people, they age like fine wine, like Marlowe of the 1900s, that very fine wine. Italy too, not the cheap box wine, the Italian wine. That was uh, bombed during World War II. Cool history. Boo! Like, you know? Like, I'm not in geography anymore. Give me fucking wine. But so truly, oily skin would definitely benefit out of this. I would say definitely don't go more than maybe three, four times a week. That could maybe be a little bit overpowering to your skin. But honestly, your mature skin does get less oily with time. So depending on your skin, you know your skin the best. One thing I want to mention, however, don't you ever think to cross this in your mind to replace a moisturizer with this on its own. Because this is not, and then repeat, does not contain the vernacular. It does not possess the talent nor the prestige, it did not earn a degree in moisturization, okay? She is still very much studying in university. Maybe she's never even gonna achieve that degree in moisturization because she will not be able to deliver the moisture that you deserve. Now, moving on to my normal slash dry skin types, I will say normal skin types, you can do whatever you want. Your skin, you're lucky, you're blessed by the skincare gods. Move on, get out of here. I wish you an ounce of luck and hopefully your life will be okay if it's not too damn bad. <laughs> so truly, if you two are looking for anti-aging, once again, this could definitely very much be good for you. However, mind you, oily skin is the strongest skin type out of all. So oily skin can really handle a lot more. So they could also maybe be better off as starting straight up with a retinol serum. With this one, normal skin types instead, if you have a little bit more sensitive skin, maybe consider about using this. Now moving on to my dry skin types, sensitive skin types. This is where I want to talk with you one-on-one -on -one right here. Pull up a chair one of them right there and just bring it here. Let's just have a one-on-one. -on -one. Retinols, they're very much strong. They are known to be flaking, irritating, and cause redness to your skin. Just straight up, even one of the weakest retinol serums for a sensitive skin person could definitely cause flakiness. Now, mind you, this is, of course, expected from a retinol because that is just what they do. Your skin just has to build that tolerance and has to get used to it. However, I do know that some people just cannot tolerate it because of how sensitive the skin is. Well, this could be an amazing alternative which you can definitely get away with using this every night. This would be amazing for getting anti-aging. Also on top of that, moisturizing and keeping the moisture from the moisturizer locked in your skin. Truly, we could say Hannah Montana best of both worlds. That is all I'm gonna say. Point period. Now, lastly guys, oh my god, another thing that just literally came into my mind like right now while I'm filming. <laughs> this could be amazing as a retinol type based moisturizer. <gasps> Let me tell you, I was literally wondering, alright, Right, so I'm getting 20. You're starting to age, Matilda. Like, literally, not only are you forgetting stuff, but also wrinkles are starting to show, honey. Like, what you should do is hide right now, buy yourself a full UV ray anti-rash vest, and also start showering in retinol. So what I thought is, all right, but I cannot use retinol serums because, let's be real, they are expensive a little bit. So truly, this one is definitely less expensive. That would be amazing to just literally rub it all around on the chesticles, on the arms, on the 
leg and just mix it also with your body moisturizer and make it a retinol based body moisturizer my mind i'm amazed by my mind sometimes it's just so powerful i am so powerful my mind oh it amazes me sometimes oh my god so truly you guys i always say this it is crucial and important that not only we blend our skincare and do take care of our skin on our face but also let's not forget about our hands and our neck because actually they are for the first things the first places to start showing signs of aging after the face mind you now if you were to use this on the face once again it is not going to give you the results that you're looking for if you are looking for true anti-aging as a starting point yes but as an ending point not at all this is your first girlfriend. This is your first love. It is just very unusual you actually end up marrying and spending the rest of your life with your first love. Let's just be real here. She might have very true intentions, very high school sweethearts, but she's not marrying material. Guys, I've rambled enough. I actually recommend this and I'm blown away in this new lighting. So truly, I recommend you buy this product. So actually guys, you always know that I always buy everything online because sis, it is online or you don't buy it because outside, there is the sun it is dangerous out there murder peoples we do not like that you know i was held at gunpoint with junior princess in south africa yeah. um my mum being told she was dying my german shepherd got killed on my driveway my horse got killed outside my house on the dual carriageway harvey had a kidnap threat then I caught my husband cheating again. So actually guys, on Amazon, this one right here was 10 Royal British Pounds and this one was for actually 6 DMLs. Now mind you, this is definitely gonna last you so long. As you can see, I didn't even use that much in a week. So this would truly last you more than two months. However, if you do wanna get the bigger bottle, the body bottle, shall we call it that, that is gonna run you 20 Royal British Pounds for 200 ml. And you guys, I always got you covered. You know that sis has got you back. So actually, if you wanna go buy, then I found the cheaper store list that I could find on Amazon US and Amazon UK and then click down below to make it real easy for you so all you gotta do if you wanna go buy it is literally click that link down below. But anyways, if you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw over here, you enjoyed my crazy analogies and you maybe wanna learn a little bit more of skincare while being entertained. Also, if you are struggling with acne and aging in general, girl, I literally embody both. So what I should do is maybe subscribe and the bell icon so you don't miss any of my uploads. I would love to see you coming back and actually join the random family. Mwah! And also, if you maybe wanna see a little bit more behind the scene of what is going on in my life in general and also be educated a little bit more what you should do is follow me on my instagram there as well we keep the same energy and also there's a lot more that you won't see on here but also if you maybe are struggling with acne and you want a little bit of one-on-one -on -one help girl don't hesitate to dm me i would love to help you out Mwah! and also lastly to my randoms who are still watching you know what time of the video it is now it's time for the italian word of the video and this video was all about this bio oil which is definitely as i already said old maiden type of skincare then the italian word of the the video is actually going to be outdated which is going to be datato in italian if you want to be a little bit you know like you want to insult someone because they might be wearing some really old outdated clothing like for example a gown ball from the 1800s i have no idea of, of any outdated clothing <laughs> then what i should tell them is actually oi which is oh excuse me scusa me ma quello che sta indossando what are you wearing e da nonna it's for grandmas è super datato it is super outdated okay so this was just very complicated you can run it through again go back and learn it you are welcome so as you can see if you ever find yourself in italy and you feel the need to insult someone for wearing something so outdated now you know what you can say and have to do Honestly, giving you advice on skincare, giving you advice on insulting people, what more do you need in life? <laughs> but sis, I know what you're about to do. You're about to click off this video because you see that this video is over. However, that is not what you should do because we should just actually click one of these two videos right here. They're just gonna be as informative, just as enchanting, just as funny, whatever this was for you. And But oh, remember to be random and always be random while you're doing that. I tell you, click these two videos or there might probably be an Italian very angry person that if she sees you on the street, she might start insulting you for what you're wearing. That Italian person might be me. I'm I'm not saying, I'm not pointing fingers, but it's probably gonna be. So click!